In this video, I'm going to take you through why you should never look for profit in your business right after this break. Welcome back. Um, I think that when most people start businesses or want to venture into business, uh, the primary thing that comes into their mind is how much am I going to make out of this business? Uh, it seems to all revolve around the money, or let's just put it more economic in the more, to use the right term, that is, what's the profit I can get from this? Um, that is a wrong approach to business and um, it doesn't take you far if your center or if your focus is on the money or what can I get from this business that I'm about to venture into. And then sadly, most people jump into business, oh, I want to make this money, I want to make this, this, this and that and that. And as they venture into the business, along the line, they either stop the business or get frustrated or become bankrupt or get liquidated. And so in this video, I'm going to take you through the steps in which or what you should do before starting a business or even if you have started a business and you know that your focus have been on money what do i need to do to reorganize or to realign my focus in order to for my business to expand okay now when we talk of business we need to understand that our key interest here is who the customers okay and then in human resource management or in any other aspect the customers are termed as the king of the market because they are the ones that are eventually going to buy your product, whatever you are selling. They are your focus. And the first thing that you should look into or when you're in a business or when you're starting your business as well, customer satisfaction. That is the first thing, customer satisfaction, okay? Can you meet up to the expectation of your customer or even more than that? A person comes to you and says, okay, I want this particular design or I want a product. Do you sell hair creams and all of those things, okay? The customer comes to you and you deliver your product to the customer, okay? And the customer is, wow, I really love this product. It goes beyond my expectation. What you have done there is that what you have satisfied your customer, you have satisfied the need or the want of your customer. So that is the first step you look into, what customer satisfaction. How can I meet up to the expectation of my customer? How can I meet up? How can I make them happy? The next thing after customer satisfaction that happens is that now it's going to go into the side of the customer. What happens next is now customer patronage. Now what the customer starts to patronize you. You know what? Uh, I think I'll go to that man. Yeah, the service he gave me last time was really good. Uh, you see, in uh, when we talk of business, there's constant competition. Okay. Um, people are there that do exactly what you do or even do better than what you do. That is why now you need to stand up or make yourself unique in whatever you do. This is what differentiates you from the rest, okay? Now, this is where the customer patronage comes in. Once you've satisfied the customer and they are happy with the services you are giving unto them, what well, they patronize you or they patronize your business. Okay, we know that there are thousands of people that are doing exactly what this man is doing. But I seem to love the service that he gives unto us. Why don't I? Let's, let's, let's go. Let's, let's go to him. Let's go back to that person. So what they are patronizing you, okay? No, I'm going to go back to this person. So now, after the patronizing, what happens is now they become loyal to you. This is where what customer loyalty comes into place. You see, now the area of profit, we have not even come close to profit. Profit is just out of it, okay? So we started with the customer satisfaction, make your customers happy. When they are happy, they patronize you, okay? Their focus becomes oriented towards you. I think this one is actually going to give us the best service. And from there, what loyalty, okay? Now, when we, when we talk of loyalty, it means what they put their total dependence on you okay so if you are not there they are, they are not they are not going to buy from anyone okay we see that a lot of times around okay you can have two women that are selling this exactly the same thing let's say two women that are selling let's say foodstuffs okay and then uh, a customer is loyal to madam x but madam x is not yet around so the customer is not going to go to Madam Y, but prefers to wait till Madam X comes. This is where the customer loyalty comes in because the customer is satisfied with the services that Madam X is giving to her, therefore given to him or her. Therefore, he will wait or prefer to wait or even to not even buy from anyone else, but just to buy from that person. This is where customer loyalty comes into place. So we see this a lot happening around, okay? We even ex we even ourselves, we experience it, okay? I know these people sell this, but I prefer this man, okay? If it's not around today, maybe I'll come back another day. So what you are doing is that what you are being loyal to that particular uh, service, okay? You are being loyal to that particular business. This is where customer loyalty comes in. Now, when there is customer loyalty, the next thing that happens is what? Increase sales, okay? 
So when you start having people that are loyal to your business, the next thing that happens is increased sales. One person tells another, the other, the other tells the other. So it's like a chain reaction, okay? So when A is happy with what the services you are giving, then A tells B, B tells C, C tells D, and D tells it. So you see now it's a connection. All you're getting a lot of flow, you're getting a lot of traffic into your business. Why? Because you satisfied just that one customer. And that one customer what becomes what your uh, your spokesperson, you see, and then shares the message around, okay? So you can see how it's very important to make your customer satisfied, even if it's just one person, because you never know how connected that one person is, okay? So a person can come to you, okay, please, can you just design something simple for me, just a little design, or can I just need a little product from you? Okay, make sure you offer the best service, because the person can use that, and then other people, wow, you look great on this, wow, who did this, wow, who did that? And then, okay, it was this guy at this place, it was that guy at that place, okay? And it's okay, I will, I will really love to, let, can you, can you, take me to the place okay yes 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 now you satisfy those people also and then what increase sales increase sales you have a lot of people coming you have a lot of people coming for your services you have a lot of people coming uh, to get what you're offering onto them okay so you see now you're actually bringing your business into full functionality okay just as the term business business is what is an enterprise or an economic activity that is involved in the continuous and regular production and distribution of goods and service work for the purpose of satisfying human wants and for making profit and profit is at the end but now your business has to be something that is regular and a continuous process okay and that happens if what your customers are happy with what they are doing and they patronize you, they become loyal to you, and then you have an increased sales, then you keep on doing what you are doing. So once there's an increased sale, the next thing that happens is profit. Can you imagine that, is it? So once you have a lot of people coming uh, towards your business or the traffic towards your business is increasing, then the profit comes into place, okay? So you see the steps where profit comes. Uh, profit don't just come just like that, okay? You make your customer happy, you satisfy them. They patronize you, they become loyal to you, and then what, you have increased sales, then profit comes, you see? The number fifth point, you see? So most of the time, when people venture into business, they just want to jump straight into the fifth one. That's, hey, I have to start making money. I have to start making money. Okay, my first customer, my first customer that come, I'm going to charge him one million dollars. Okay, just you can you see imagine. I want I want to make the, so you do that. What you do that? There's a time I went to a tailor, yeah, to sew to 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 sew one of my trousers, and then I was just flabbergasted by the price that this young individual gave me. I said, what? And then if I should go to other places, the price is way cheaper. So what that person actually did was that he wanted money. He wanted to extract money from me. But then he, he took a wrong approach in that what he discouraged me from coming to him. And I never went back to that person because I know that he's going to charge me a very high price. And I prefer to go to places what, where the prices were a little bit lower or a little bit considered considerable okay so he took a wrong approach gave me a high price and then was so he cut off the he broke the number one rule that is for customer satisfaction i was not satisfied with the price that i was given so what he had no profit for me he had no increased sales i wouldn't even recommend anyone to go to that place because well, i know that he's going to extract a lot of money from them so you see how people lose customers just because they put profit uh, at the beginning or they prove they put the money at the beginning of it so you do that you're breaking or you're going to lose a lot of things you might gain a million when you're supposed to you might have a million dollars in when you are supposed to be having 10 million just because what um you're just looking for the profit you are jumping to number five okay but if you take it easy with your customer okay yeah yeah just just pay a little uh, maybe 25 dollars instead of saying 200 dollars last price i've changed my dollar no that's that's it okay okay yeah, it's a, it's a 25 dollars here just <laughs> sorry for the wall of uh just just bring 20 just bring 25 dollars in eh? So he brings it. Okay, yes. Uh, so anytime you have any customer, anytime you need help, just come to me. I'm always available. You are building a relationship with your customer. Okay, you're building. It's like it's a, like a, a psychological game that you're playing with them. Okay, you are building a relationship with them. They become they, they trust you. They become free with you. Okay, and then people are really good at uh, customer satisfaction. Okay, so they praise you. They take you high up, even though they. 
they do not actually mean it so when going on the market or when going to uh, different places you see different strategies of customer satisfaction where you can have a, a person selling a good that will praise you sing praises for you hey, they, if you buy this good hey, Kai. even the angels will come and have so all of these are just tactics in order to get you to actually buy what they, what they want to buy what they want you to buy from them okay so then the profit comes into place and when there is profit what well, the next thing that happens is that your business expands okay so your expansion of business this way now you start having okay i think i need another branch in this area uh this place is not it's very small for me uh, i'm getting a lot of requests okay i'm getting a lot of demand let me use the correct term. i'm getting a lot of demand and then i don't think this place is going to be enough to supply uh or to, to really fulfill the demand of my customers okay so what you do now is what you expand your business okay i think i have to take the business to this other level i have to have another branch like that okay so that is it so make your customers happy they patronize you they become loyal to you and when they're loyal to you you gotta have you're gonna have a lot of increased sales people come a lot people want from you because they're happy with what you're giving them and then what the profit comes and the money comes and the money comes in and then what happens expansion of your business so your business grows 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 so it's a cycle that you keep on repeating and keep on repeating and make sure you stay true to it so i hope you learned from this video and please feel free to subscribe if you haven't share the video like it uh, send it around to your friends so that also those that are also in businesses they might learn these principles okay so till we meet again bye